Persian, also known by its endonym Farsi, Farsi, Farsi FC, listen, is one of the Western Iranian languages within the Indo-Iranian branch of the Indo-European language family. It is primarily spoken in Iran, Afghanistan, officially known as Dari since 1958, and Tajikistan, officially known as Tajiki since the Soviet era, Uzbekistan, and some other regions which historically were Persianate societies and considered part of Greater Iran. It is written right to left in the Persian alphabet, a modified variant of the Arabic script, which itself evolved from the Aramaic alphabet. The Persian language is classified as a continuation of Middle Persian, the official religious and literary language of the Sasanian Empire, itself a continuation of Old Persian, the language of the Achaemenid Empire. Its grammar is similar to that of many contemporary European languages. A Persian speaking person may be referred to as Persephone. There are approximately 110 million Persian speakers worldwide, with the language holding official status in Iran, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan. For centuries, Persian has also been a prestigious cultural language in other regions of Western Asia, Central Asia, and South Asia by the various empires based in the regions. Persian has had a considerable mainly lexical influence on neighboring languages, particularly the Turkic languages in Central Asia, Caucasus, and Anatolia, neighboring Iranian languages, as well as Armenian, Georgian, and Indo-Aryan languages, especially Urdu, a register of Hindustani. It also exerted some influence on Arabic, particularly Barani Arabic, while borrowing much vocabulary from it after the Arab conquest of Iran. With a long history of literature in the form of Middle Persian before Islam, Persian was the first language in the Muslim world to break through Arabic's monopoly on writing, and the writing of poetry in Persian was established as a court tradition in many Eastern courts. Some of the famous works of Persian literature are the Shahnameh of Ferdowsi, the works of Rumi, the Rubayat of Omar Khayyam, the Panj Ganj of Nizami Ganjavi, the Divan of Hafez and the two miscellanea of prose and verse by Saadi Shirazi, the Gulistan and the Bustan. Classification <laughs> 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 Persian is one of the Western Iranian languages within the Indo-European family. Other Western Iranian languages are the Kurdish languages, Jalaki, Mazandarani, Talish, and Balochi. Persian is classified as a member of the southwestern subgroup within Western Iranian along with Lari, Kumzari, and Luri. <laughs> Name of the language Persian language name in Persian Topic. In Persian, the language is known by several names Western Persian, Farsi 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 or Zaban Farsi Zaban e Farsi, the Arabic form of Parsi Parsi Parsi, has been the name used by native speakers until the 20th century. In recent decades some authors writing in English have referred to the variety of Persian spoken in Iran as Farsi, although the name Persian is also still widely used. Eastern Persian, Dari, dry Dari or Dari Persian Farsi dry Farsi ye Dari was originally a synonym for Farsi but since the latter decades of the 20th century has become the name for the variety of Persian spoken in Afghanistan, where it is one of the two official languages, it is sometimes called Afghan Persian in English. Tajiki, Toiki Tajiki Tojiki or Zaboni Toiki, Zaban Tajiki Zaban I Tojiki or Forsi Toiki, Forsi I Tojiki, is the variety of Persian spoken in Tajikistan and Uzbekistan by the Tajiks. Topic Persian language name in English Topic Persian, the historically more widely used name of the language in English, is an anglicized form derived from Latin asterisk Persianus Persia, a Hellenized form of Old Persian Parsa. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the term Persian as a language name is first attested in English in the mid 16th century. Farsi is the Arabicized form of Parsi, subsequent to Arab conquest of Iran, due to a lack of the phoneme p in Standard Arabic, i.e., the p was replaced with an f. The origin of the name Farsi and the place of origin of the language, which is Fars province, is the Arabicized form of Pars. Farsi is encountered in some linguistic literature as a name for the language, used both by Iranian and by foreign authors. The Academy of Persian Language and Literature, however, has declared that the name Persian is more appropriate, as it has the longer tradition in Western languages and better expresses the role of the language as a mark of cultural and national continuity. 
Some Persian language scholars such as Asan Yarshader, editor of Encyclopedia Iranica, and University of Arizona professor Cameron Taladif, have also rejected the usage of Farsi in their articles. The International Language Encoding Standard ISO 639-1 uses the code FA, as its coding system is mostly based on the local names. The more detailed standard ISO 639-3 uses the name Persian code FAS for the dialect continuum spoken across Iran and Afghanistan. This consists of the individual languages Dari Afghan Persian and Iranian Persian. Currently, Voice of America, BBC World Service, Deutsche Welle, and Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty use Persian service for their broadcasts in the language. Radio Free Europe – Radio Liberty also includes a Tajik service and an Afghan Dari service. The American Association of Teachers of Persian, and the Center for Promotion of Persian Language and Literature also use the name Persian. Topic History Topic Persian is an Iranian language belonging to the Indo-Iranian branch of the Indo-European family of languages. In general, Iranian languages are known from three periods, usually referred to as Old, Middle, and New modern periods. These correspond to three eras in Iranian history, Old Era being the period from sometime before Achaemenids, the Achaemenid Era and sometime after Achaemenids that is to 400 to 300 BC, Middle Era being the next period most officially Sassanid Era and sometime in post-Sassanid Era, and the New Era being the period afterwards down to present day. According to available documents, the Persian language is the only Iranian language for which close philological relationships between all of its three stages are established and so that Old, Middle, and New Persian represent one and the same language of Persian, that is, New Persian is a direct descendant of Middle and Old Persian. The known history of the Persian language can be divided into the following three distinct periods. Topic Old Persian Topic As a written language, Old Persian is attested in royal Achaemenid inscriptions. The oldest known text written in Old Persian is from the Behistun inscription, dating to the time of King Darius I, reign 522-486 BC. Examples of Old Persian have been found in what is now Iran, Romania Gerla, Armenia, Bahrain, Iraq, Turkey and Egypt. Old Persian is one of the oldest Indo-European languages which is attested in original texts, related to Old Persian, but from a different branch of the Iranian language family, was Avestan, the language of the Zoroastrian liturgical texts. <laughs> Middle Persian Topic. The complex grammatical conjugation and declension of Old Persian yielded to the structure of Middle Persian in which the dual number disappeared, leaving only singular and plural, as did gender. Middle Persian developed the Ezaif construction, expressed through I modern yi, to indicate some of the relations between words that have been lost with the simplification of the earlier grammatical system. Although the middle period of the Iranian languages formally begins with the fall of the Achaemenid Empire, the transition from Old to Middle Persian had probably already begun before the 4th century BC. However, Middle Persian is not actually attested until 600 years later when it appears in the Sassanid era 224-651 inscriptions, so any form of the language before this date cannot be described with any degree of certainty. Moreover, as a literary language, Middle Persian is not attested until much later, in the 6th or 7th century. From the 8th century onward, Middle Persian gradually began yielding to New Persian, with the Middle period form only continuing in the texts of Zoroastrianism. Middle Persian is, essentially, though not in every detail, a later form of the same dialect as Old Persian. The native name of Middle Persian was Parsig or Parsik, after the name of the ethnic group of the southwest, that is, of Pars, Old Persian Parsa, New Persian Fars. This is the origin of the name Farsi as it is today used to signify New Persian. Following the collapse of the Sassanid state, Parsic came to be applied exclusively to either Middle or New Persian that was written in the Arabic script. From about the 9th century onward, as Middle Persian was on the threshold of becoming New Persian, the older form of the language came to be erroneously called Pahlavi, which was actually but one of the writing systems used to render both Middle Persian as well as various other Middle Iranian languages. That writing system had previously been adopted by the Sassanids, who were Persians, i.e. from the southwest, from the preceding Arsacids, who were Parthians, i.e. from the northeast. 
while Ibn al Mukaffa (8th century) still distinguished between Pahlavi, i.e. Parthian, and Persian in Arabic text, al Farisiya, i.e. Middle Persian. This distinction is not evident in Arab commentaries written after that date. Gernot Winfer considers New Persian as an evolution of the Old Persian language and the Middle Persian language but also states that none of the known Middle Persian dialects is the direct predecessor of modern Persian. Ludwig Paul states, "...the language of the Shahnameh should be seen as one instance of continuous historical development from Middle to New Persian." <laughs> New Persian New Persian modern is conventionally divided into three stages Early New Persian 8th, 9th centuries, Classical Persian 10th, 18th centuries, Contemporary Persian 19th century to present. Early New Persian remains largely intelligible to speakers of contemporary Persian, as the morphology and, to a lesser extent, the lexicon of the language have remained relatively stable. Early New Persian Topic. New Persian is taken to replace Middle Persian in the course of the 8th to 9th centuries, under Abbasid rule. With the decline of the Abbasids began the re-establishment of Persian national life and Persians laid the foundations for a renaissance in the realm of letters. New Persian as an independent literary language first emerges in Bactria through the adaptation of the spoken form of Sasanian Middle Persian court language called Parsi Yi Dari. The cradle of the Persian literary renaissance lay in the east of Greater Iran in Greater Khorasan and Transoxiana close to the Amu Darya modern-day Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. The mastery of the newer speech having now been transformed from Middle into New Persian was already complete by the era of the three princely dynasties of Iranian origin, the Tahirid dynasty 822-872, Seferid dynasty 860-903 and Samanid Empire 800 74 to 999 and could develop only in range and power of expression Abbas of Merv is mentioned as being the earliest minstrel to chant verse in the newer Persian tongue and after him the poems of Hanzala Bajisi were among the most famous between the Persian speakers of the time the first poems of the Persian language a language historically called Dari emerged in Afghanistan the first significant Persian poet was Rudaki he flourished in the 10th century when the Samanids were at the height of their power his reputation as a court poet and as an accomplished musician and singer has survived, although little of his poetry has been preserved. Among his lost works is versified fables collected in the Kalila wa Dimna. The language spread geographically from the 11th century on and was the medium through which, among others, Central Asian Turks became familiar with Islam and urban culture. New Persian was widely used as a trans regional lingua franca, a task for which it was particularly suitable due to its relatively simple morphological structure, and this situation persisted until at least 19th century. In the late Middle Ages, new Islamic literary languages were created on the Persian model Ottoman Turkish, Chagatai, and Urdu, which are regarded as structural daughter languages of Persian. Topic. Classical Persian Topic. Classical Persian loosely refers to the standardized language of medieval Persia used in literature and poetry. This is the language of the 10th to 12th centuries, which continued to be used as literary language and lingua franca under the Persianized Turco Mongol dynasties during the 12th to 15th centuries, and under restored Persian rule during the 16th to 19th centuries. Persian during this time served as lingua franca of Greater Persia and of much of the Indian subcontinent. It was also the official and cultural language of many Islamic dynasties, including the Samanids, Bayids, Tahirids, Ziyarids, the Mughal Empire, Timurids, Ghaznavids, Karakhanids, Seljuks, Khwarizmians, the Sultanate of Rum, Delhi Sultanate, the Shirvanshas, Safavids, Afsharids, Zans, Qajars, Khanate of Bukhara, Khanate of Kokand, Emirate of Bukhara, Khanate of Kiva, Ottomans and also many Mughal successors such as the Nizam of Hyderabad. Persian was the only non-European language known and used by Marco Polo at the court of Kublai Khan and in his journeys through China. Use in Asia Minor 
Despite Anatolia having been ruled at various times prior to the Middle Ages by various Persian-speaking dynasties originating in Iran, the language lost its traditional foothold there with the demise of the Sasanian Empire. Centuries later however, the practice and usage of Persian in the region would be strongly revived. A branch of the Seljuks, the Sultanate of Rum, took Persian language, art and letters to Anatolia. They adopted Persian language as the official language of the empire. The Ottomans, which can roughly be seen as their eventual successors, took this tradition over. Persian was the official court language of the empire, and for some time, the official language of the empire. The educated and noble class of the Ottoman Empire all spoke Persian, such as Sultan Selim I, despite being Safavid Iran's arch-rival and a staunch opposer of Shia Islam. It was a major literary language in the empire. Some of the noted earlier Persian works during the Ottoman rule are Idris Bidlizi. S. Hasht Bihisht, which begun in 1502 and covered the reign of the first eight Ottoman rulers, and the Salim Nama, a glorification of Selim I. After a period of several centuries, Ottoman Turkish, which was highly Persianized itself, had developed towards a fully accepted language of literature, which was even able to satisfy the demands of a scientific presentation. However, the number of Persian and Arabic loanwords contained in those works increased at times up to 88%. Topic. Use in South Asia Topic. The Persian language influenced the formation of many modern languages in West Asia, Europe, Central Asia, and South Asia. Following the Turco-Persian Ghaznavid conquest of South Asia, Persian was firstly introduced in the region by Turkic Central Asians. The basis in general for the introduction of Persian language into the subcontinent was set, from its earliest days, by various Persianized Central Asian Turkic and Afghan dynasties. For five centuries prior to the British colonization, Persian was widely used as a second language in the Indian subcontinent, due to the admiration the Mughals who were of origin had for the foreign language. It took prominence as the language of culture and education in several Muslim courts on the subcontinent and became the sole official language under the Mughal emperors. Beginning in 1843, though, English and Hindustani gradually replaced Persian in importance on the subcontinent. Evidence of Persian's historical influence there can be seen in the extent of its influence on certain languages of the Indian subcontinent. Words borrowed from Persian are still quite commonly used in certain Indo-Aryan languages, especially Urdu, also historically known as Hindustani. There is also a small population of Zoroastrian Iranis in India, who migrated in the 19th century to escape religious execution in Qajar Iran and speak a Dari dialect. <laughs> Contemporary Persian In the 19th century, under the Qajar dynasty, the dialect spoken in Tehran rose to prominence. This became the basis of what is now known as Contemporary Standard Persian There is still substantial Arabic vocabulary, but many of these words have been integrated into Persian phonology and grammar. In addition, since the 19th century numerous Russian, French, and English terms have been borrowed, especially vocabulary related to technology. The Iranian National Academy of Persian Language and Literature is responsible for evaluating neologisms in order to devise their Persian equivalents. Topic. Varieties Topic. There are three modern varieties of Standard Persian. Western Persian, Persian, Iranian Persian, or Farsi is spoken in Iran, and by minorities in Iraq and the Persian Gulf states. Dari, Dari Persian, Afghan Persian, or Dari is spoken in Afghanistan. Tajiki Tajik Persian is spoken in Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. It is written in the Cyrillic script. All these three varieties are based on the classic Persian literature and its literary tradition. There are also several local dialects from Iran, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan which slightly differ from the standard Persian. The Hazaragi dialect in central Afghanistan and Pakistan, Harati in western Afghanistan, Darwazi in Afghanistan and Tajikistan, and the Tehrani accent in Iran, the basis of standard Iranian Persian, are examples of these dialects. 
Persian-speaking peoples of Iran, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan can understand one another with a relatively high degree of mutual intelligibility. The following are some languages closely related to Persian, or in some cases are considered dialects. Luri or Lori, spoken mainly in the southwestern Iranian provinces of Loristan, Kojaluya and Boyer Ahmad province, some western parts of Fars province and some parts of Khuzestan province. Lari in southern Iran. Tat, spoken in parts of Azerbaijan, Russia, and Transcaucasia. It is classified as a variety of Persian. This dialect is not to be confused with the Tati language of northwestern Iran, which is a member of a different branch of the Iranian languages. Judeo Tat. Part of the Tat Persian continuum, spoken in Azerbaijan, Russia, as well as by immigrant communities in Israel and New York, for other more distantly related branches of the Iranian language family, such as Kurdish and Balochi, see Iranian languages. Phonology <laughs> 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 Iranian Persian has six vowels and 23 consonants. Topic. Vowels Topic. Historically, Persian distinguished length. Early New Persian had a series of five long vowels, I, U, O, and E, along with three short vowels, A, I, and U. At some point prior to the 16th century in the general area now modern Iran, E, and I, merged into I, and O, and U, merged into U. Thus, older contrasts such as Sher Sher lion versus sher sheer milk and zwar zud quick versus zwar zor strong were lost however there are exceptions to this rule and in some words e and o are preserved or merged into the diphthongs e and o which are descendants of the diphthongs a and a in early new persian instead of merging into i and u examples of the exception can be found in words such as rushan roayan bright However, in Dari, the archaic distinction of e and i, respectively known as ye emjil ya ye majil and ye murf ya ye ma, roof is still preserved as well as the distinction of o and u, known as wa emjil wa e majil and wa murf wa e ma, roof. On the other hand, in standard Tajik, the length distinction has disappeared, and i merged with i and u with u. Therefore, contemporary Afghan Dari dialects are the closest to the vowel inventory of early New Persian. According to most studies on the subject e.g. Samara 1977 Pizavik 1985, Najafi 2001, the three vowels traditionally considered long, i, u, are currently distinguished from their short counterparts, e, o, a, by position of articulation rather than by length. However, there are studies e.g. Hayes 1979, Winfer 1979 that consider vowel length to be the active feature of the system, with i and u phonologically long or bimoric and a, e, and o phonologically short or monomoric. There are also some studies that consider quality and quantity to be both active in the Iranian system such as Tusarvandani 2004. That offers a synthetic analysis including both quality and quantity, which often suggests that modern Persian vowels are in a transition state between the quantitative system of classical Persian and a hypothetical future Iranian language, which will eliminate all traces of quantity and retain quality as the only active feature. The length distinction is still strictly observed by careful reciters of classic style poetry for all varieties including Tajik. Consonants Topic. Notes In Iranian Persian, and, q, have merged into, tilde, as a voiced velar fricative, when positioned intervocalically and unstressed, and as a voiced uvular stop, otherwise. Topic. Grammar Topic. Topic. Morphology Topic. Suffixes predominate Persian morphology, though there are a small number of prefixes. Verbs can express tense and aspect, and they agree with the subject in person and number. There is no grammatical gender in Persian, and pronouns are not marked for natural gender. Topic. Syntax Topic. 
Normal declarative sentences are structured as s p p o v. Sentences have optional subjects, prepositional phrases, and objects followed by a compulsory verb. If the object is specific, the object is followed by the word raw and precedes prepositional phrases s o plus raw p p v. Topic. Vocabulary. Topic. Topic. Native word formation. Topic. Persian makes extensive use of word building and combining affixes, stems, nouns, and adjectives. Persian frequently uses derivational agglutination to form new words from nouns, adjectives, and verbal stems. New words are extensively formed by compounding, two existing words combining into a new one, as is common in German. Topic. Influences Topic. While having a lesser influence on Arabic and other languages of Mesopotamia and its core vocabulary being of Middle Persian origin, New Persian contains a considerable amount of Arabic lexical items, which were Persianized and often took a different meaning and usage than the Arabic original. Persian loanwords of Arabic origin especially include Islamic terms. The Arabic vocabulary in other Iranian, Turkic and Indic languages is generally understood to have been copied from New Persian, not from Arabic itself. John R. Perry, in his article Lexical Areas and Semantic Fields of Arabic, estimates that about 24% of an everyday vocabulary of 20,000 words in current Persian, and more than 25% of the vocabulary of classical and modern Persian literature, are of Arabic origin. The text frequency of these loan words is generally lower and varies by style and topic area. It may approach 25% of a text in literature. According to another source, about 40% of everyday Persian literary vocabulary is of Arabic origin. Among the Arabic loan words, relatively few are from the semantic domain of material culture, while a larger number are from domains of intellectual and spiritual life. Most of the Arabic words used in Persian are either synonyms of native terms or could be glossed in Persian. The inclusion of Mongolian and Turkic elements in the Persian language should also be mentioned, not only because of the political role a succession of Turkic dynasties played in Iranian history, but also because of the immense prestige Persian language and literature enjoyed in the wider non-Arab Islamic world, which was often ruled by sultans and emirs with a Turkic background. The Turkish and Mongolian vocabulary in Persian is minor in comparison to that of Arabic and these words were mainly confined to military, pastoral terms and political sector titles, administration, etc. New military and political titles were coined based partially on Middle Persian e.g. arch arts for army instead of the Uzbek Kushan Qo Shin, Sarlaskar, Sarlaskar, Dryaban Daryaban, etc. in the 20th century. Persian has likewise influenced the vocabularies of other languages, especially other Indo-European languages such as Armenian, Urdu, Bengali and to a lesser extent Hindi, the latter three through conquests of Persianized Central Asian Turkic and Afghan invaders, Turkic languages such as Ottoman Turkish, Chagatai, Tatar, Turkish, Turkmen, Azeri, Uzbek, and Karachay Balkar, Caucasian languages such as Georgian, and to a lesser extent, Avar and Lesjan, Afro-Asiatic languages like Assyrian, of loanwords in Assyrian Neo-Aramaic and Arabic, and even Dravidian languages indirectly especially Telugu and Brawi, as well as Austronesian languages such as Indonesian and Malay. Persian has also had a significant lexical influence, via Turkish, on Albanian, Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, and Serbo-Croatian, particularly as spoken in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Use of occasional foreign synonyms instead of Persian words can be a common practice in everyday communications as an alternative expression. In some instances in addition to the Persian vocabulary, the equivalent synonyms from multiple foreign languages can be used. For example, in Iranian colloquial Persian not in Afghanistan or Tajikistan, the phrase, Thank you may be expressed using the French word merci merci stressed, however, on the first syllable, the hybrid Persian-Arabic phrase mountshkar m motasakar m mountshkar motasakar being thankful in Arabic, commonly pronounced motkakar in Persian, and the verb am am meaning I am in Persian, or by the pure Persian phrase spasar m sapas gozar am. Orthography <laughs> 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 
The vast majority of modern Iranian Persian and Dari text is written with the Arabic script. Tajiki, which is considered by some linguists to be a Persian dialect influenced by Russian and the Turkic languages of Central Asia, is written with the Cyrillic script in Tajikistan see Tajik alphabet. There also exist several romanization systems for Persian. Topic. Persian alphabet Topic. Modern Iranian Persian and Afghan Persian are written using a modified variant of the Arabic alphabet, which uses different pronunciation and additional letters not found in Arabic. After the Muslim conquest of Persia, it took approximately 150 years before Persians adopted the Arabic script in place of the older alphabet. Previously, two different scripts were used, Pahlavi, used for Middle Persian, and the Avestan alphabet in Persian, Din Dapiric or Din Dabir, literally, religion script, used for religious purposes, primarily for the Avestan but sometimes for Middle Persian. In the modern Persian script, historically short vowels are usually not written, only the historically long ones are represented in the text, so words distinguished from each other only by short vowels are ambiguous in writing, Western Persian kerm, worm. Karam, generosity, karam, cream, and krom, chrome, are all spelled krm, kerm in Persian. The reader must determine the word from context. The Arabic system of vocalization marks known as harakat is also used in Persian, although some of the symbols have different pronunciations. For example, adama is pronounced tilde u, while in Iranian Persian it is pronounced o. This system is not used in mainstream Persian literature, it is primarily used for teaching and in some but not all, dictionaries. There are several letters generally only used in Arabic loanwords. These letters are pronounced the same as similar Persian letters. For example, there are four functionally identical letters for Z, Z, D, Z, three letters for S, 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 two letters for T, 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 two letters for H. H. On the other hand, there are four letters that don't exist in Arabic P, G. Topic. Additions Topic. The Persian alphabet adds four letters to the Arabic alphabet. Historically, there was used also a special letter for the sound, beta. This letter is used no more as the, beta, sound changed to, b, i.e. archaic zavan, za beta and, greater than zaban, zaban, language. Topic. Variations. Topic. The Persian alphabet also modifies some letters of the Arabic alphabet. For example, alif with hamza below a changes to alif, a words using various hamzas get spelled with yet another kind of hamza so that swawal becomes mizil even though the latter is also correct in Arabic, and teh marbuta t changes to hey h or teh. The letters different in shape are topic. Latin alphabet. Topic. The International Organization for Standardization has published a standard for simplified transliteration of Persian into Latin, ISO 233-3, titled, Information and Documentation, Transliteration of Arabic Characters into Latin Characters, Part 3, Persian Language, Simplified Transliteration. But the transliteration scheme is not in widespread use. Another Latin alphabet, based on the common Turkic alphabet, was used in Tajikistan in the 1920s and 1930s. The alphabet was phased out in favor of Cyrillic in the late 1930s. Finjilish is Persian using ISO basic Latin alphabet. It is most commonly used in chat, emails, and SMS applications. The orthography is not standardized, and varies among writers and even media, for example, typing ah. For the phoneme is easier on computer keyboards than on cell phone keyboards, resulting in smaller usage of the combination on cell phones. Topic. Tajik alphabet Topic. The Cyrillic script was introduced for writing the Tajik language under the Tajik Soviet Socialist Republic in the late 1930s, replacing the Latin alphabet that had been used since the October Revolution and the Persian script that had been used earlier. After 1939, materials published in Persian in the Persian script were banned from the country. Examples <laughs> 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 
The following text is from Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. See also The Existential B and Copula in Persian Academy of Persian Language and Literature Pahlavi Disambiguation List of English words of Persian origin List of French loanwords in Persian Persian alphabet Persian braille Persian grammar Persian name Persian phonology Persian meters Persianate society Romanization of Persian Western Iranian languages Topic References Topic Topic Sources Topic Kurt A. 2013. The Persian Empire, a corpus of sources from the Achaemenid period. Routledge. ISBN 978-1-136-01694-3. Fry, Richard Nelson Handbuch der Altertumswissenschaft, Alter Orient Griechisch Geschichte Romisch Geschichte. Band 3, 7, The History of Ancient Iran. C. H. Beck. ISBN 978-3-406-09397-5. Schmidt, Rudiger The Old Persian Inscriptions of Naxi Rustam and Persepolis. Corpus Inscriptionum Iranicarum by School of Oriental and African Studies. ISBN 978-0-7286-0314-1. Topic further reading Topic Asatrian, Garnick 2010. Etymological Dictionary of Persian. Leiden Indo-European Etymological Dictionary Series, 12. Brill Academic Publishers. ISBN 978-90-04-18341-4. Archived from the original on 27 December 2010. Retrieved 23 May 2010. Bleak, Arthur Henry 1857. A Concise Grammar of the Persian Language. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Bleak, Arthur Henry 1857. A Concise Grammar of the Persian Language, Containing Dialogues, Reading Lessons, and a Vocabulary, Together with a New Plan for Facilitating the Study of Languages. B. Korich. P. 206. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Bleak, Arthur Henry 1857. A Concise Grammar of the Persian Language Oxford University ed. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Dahlin, A.S.H.K. April 2014 First edition October 2010. Modern Persis Grammatic 2nd ed. Ferdowsi International Publication. ISBN 9789197988. Dahlin, A.S.H.K. April 2014 Anthologia Persica. Logos Verlag. ISBN 978-3-8325-1620-8. Dr. Sorabshah Bayram G. 1880. The Student's Persian and English Dictionary, Pronouncing, Etymological, and Explanatory. Irish Presbyterian Mission Press. p. 558. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Dr. Sorabshah Bayram G. Sa D. Second Book of Persian, to which are added the Pandnama of Sheikh Saadi and the Gulistan, Chapter 1, together with vocabulary and short notes, 2 ed. Irish Presbyterian Mission Press. p. 120. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Dr. Sorabshah Bayram G. 1879. The Persian Primer, being an elementary treatise on grammar, with exercises. Irish Presbyterian Mission Press. p. 94. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Dr. Sorabshah Bayram G. 1875. A New Grammar of the Persian Tongue for the Use of Schools and Colleges. Irish Presbyterian Mission Press. p. 84. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Forbes, Duncan. 1844. A Grammar of the Persian Language, to which is added, a selection of easy extracts for reading, together with a copious vocabulary. To ed. Printed for the author, sold by Allen & Co. P. 158. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Forbes, Duncan. 1844. A Grammar of the Persian Language, to which is added, a selection of easy extracts for reading, together with a copious vocabulary. 2 ed. 
Printed for the author, sold by Allen & Co. p. 114. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Forbes, Duncan 1876. A Grammar of the Persian Language, to which is added, a selection of easy extracts for reading, together with a vocabulary, and translations. W. H. Allen. p. 238. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Forbes, Duncan 1869. A Grammar of the Persian Language, to which is added, a selection of easy extracts for reading, together with a vocabulary, and translations for ed. W. H. Allen & Co. p. 238. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Ibrahim, Muhammad 1841. A Grammar of the Persian Language. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Jones, Sir William 1783. A Grammar of the Persian Language 3 ed. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Jones, Sir William 1797. A Grammar of the Persian Language 4 ed. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Jones, Sir William 1801. A Grammar of the Persian Language 5 ed. Murray and Hiley, J. Sewell. p. 194. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Jones, Sir William 1823. Samuel Lee, ed. A Grammar of the Persian Language 8 ed. Printed by W. Nickel, for Parbury, Allen, and Co. p. 230. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Jones, Sir William 1828. Samuel Lee, ed. A Grammar of the Persian Language 9 ed. Printed by W. Nickel, for Parbury, Allen, and Co. p. 283. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Lazard, Gilbert. January 2006. Grammaire du Persan Contemporain. Institut Francais de Recherche en Iran. ISBN 978-2909961378. Lumsden, Matthew. 1810. A Grammar of the Persian Language, Comprising a Portion of the Elements of Arabic Inflection etc. Watley. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Mace, John, the 18th of October 2002. Persian Grammar, for Reference and Revision, Illustrated ed. Routledgekurzen. ISBN 0-7007-1695-5. Moises, Edward, 1792. The Persian Interpreter, in Three Parts, A Grammar of the Persian Language. Persian Extracts, in Prose and Verse. A Vocabulary, Persian and English. Printed by L. Hodgson. p. 143. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Palmer, Edward Henry 1883. Guy Lestrange, ed. A Concise Dictionary, English-Persian, together with a simplified grammar of the Persian language. Completed and ed. by G. Lestrange. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Palmer, Edward Henry 1883. Guy Lestrange, ed. A Concise Dictionary, English-Persian, together with a simplified grammar of the Persian language. Trubner. P. 42. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Platts, John Thompson 1894. A Grammar of the Persian Language. Williams and Norgate. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Ranking, George Spears Alexander 1907. A Primer of Persian, containing selections for reading and composition with the elements of syntax. The Clarendon Press. p. 72. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Richardson, John 1810. Sir Charles Wilkins, David Hopkins, eds. A Vocabulary, Persian, Arabic, and English, abridged from the quarto edition of Richardson's Dictionary. Printed for F. and C. Rivingson. p. 643. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Rosen, Friedrich, Nasir al-Din Shah, Shah of Iran 1898. Modern Persian Colloquial Grammar, containing a short grammar, dialogues and extracts from Nasir Eddin Shah's diaries, tales, etc., and a vocabulary. Luzik and C. p. 400. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Schmidt, Rudiger 1989. Compendium Linguarum Iranicarum. L. Reichert. ISBN 3-88226-413-6. Sen, Ramdan Madhub Chunder Sen, ed. A Dictionary in Persian and English, with Pronunciation, ed. by M. C. Sen, 2 ed. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Sen, Ramdan, 1829. A Dictionary in Persian and English. Printed for the author at the Baptist Mission Press. p. 226. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Sen, Ramdan, 1833. 
A Dictionary in English and Persian. Printed at the Baptist Mission Press. p. 276. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Sen, Ramdan 1833. A Dictionary in English and Persian. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Skervo, Prods Oktor 2006. Iran, v. Iranian Languages and Scripts. Encyclopedia Iranica, 13. Thaxton, W. M. The 1 May 1993. An Introduction to Persian, 3rd Rev. Ed. Ibex Publishers. ISBN 0-936347-29-5. Tucker, William Thornhill, 1801. A Pocket Dictionary of English and Persian. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Tucker, William Thornhill, 1850. A Pocket Dictionary of English and Persian. J. Madden. P. 145. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Tucker, William Thornhill, 1850. A Pocket Dictionary of English and Persian. J. Madden. P. 145. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Winfer, Gernot L. The 15th of January 2009. Persian. In Bernard Comrie. The World's Major Languages, 2 ed. Routledge. ISBN 0-415-35339-4, CS1 maint, uses editor's parameter link Wollaston, Sir, Arthur Naylor, 1882. An English-Persian Dictionary. W. H. Allen. Retrieved 6 July 2011. Topic external links Topic Academy of Persian Language and Literature Official Website in Persian Assembly for the Expansion of the Persian Language Official Website in Persian Persian Language Resources in Persian Persian Language Resources, Parstimes.com Persian Language Tutorial Books for Beginners Hayam, Soliman. New Persian English Dictionary. Tehran, Library Imprimery Barukim, 1934-1936. Uchicago.edu Steingus, Francis Joseph. A Comprehensive Persian English Dictionary. London, Routledge and K. Paul, 1892. Uchicago.edu UCLA Language Materials Project, Persian, UCLA. Adu. How Persian Alphabet Transits into Graffiti, Persian Graffiti. Basic Persian Language Course, Book Plus Audio Files, USA Foreign Service Institute, FSI.